is up TechX here back again with a brand new video on my channel and today I'm going to be giving you a full easy beginner's tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube so let's get straight into this video this video starts make sure to leave a like also make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for more content like this and turn on post notifications and let's get into the video so before we can start I need to mix this up so let's go ahead and mix that up so solving a Rubik's Cube is not hard it's just a couple of set of algorithms you need to memorize to do on um, which time so the first step to solving the Rubik's Cube is to go ahead and locate the white centerpiece next you want to find more of the cross pieces I like to call it so we've got this one, and this is the white, and as you can see, green piece. So we just turn it up to where the white, the second white piece is, like that. Ignore those, that white piece, but now we have that line. So now there's the white center, and then the white and green. So actually what you're going to want to do is turn the second layer to match up with green. There you go, you have the white and green green. Next, you want to have to follow the pattern. So this is red, so I need to find the white and red piece. So here it is, and just turn up the white and red piece right there. Re reset, re um, locate the green piece back in its spot. White and green, white, red, and now you have those two lines. So as you could guess, the same for the blue and the orange. So I'm going to look for one of the pieces, and this is the white and orange piece. So if I move this to where the orange spot is, right here, and bring this up. So now we have the white, orange, white, green, white, red, and finally locate the white, blue, and put it in the last remaining spot. Like that. So to check if you've done the white cross correctly, make sure you have the colors lining up. And you should have a cross of the colors, two colors of the same colors like that. So it should look like that. Ignore all the pieces besides the white cross at the top and these two pieces on each side. Next, you're ready to solve the first layer. So. This is by far the easiest part. There's no algorithm involved, just using your brain. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is see if there's any pieces on the bottom, white pieces on the bottom layer as it is. And since there's not, I see this white piece here. So all I have to do to get this white piece down here is to bring this side down, bring it to the right, and put this side back up. And now you have that white piece right there. So now, since we have this white piece here, as you could see, you're going to want to look at the opposite side of it, not the bottom, the right, or the left of it. And this is the white and orange piece. So what you're going to do is move it to the orange side. So the orange part of the piece should be on the orange side. So white and orange on the orange side. And since it's right here, all we need to do is turn the left side down and turn the bottom the right now we could bring it back up and there you go so we're gonna do the same exact thing so since this one's down here I'm gonna do the same thing I just did and this is the white and red so I'm gonna move it to the red side and bring it back up and repeat the following moves for all of them so since this I have none on the bottom more normally you'll have one on the bottom but I don't so I'm gonna do that again green so I'm gonna find the green side move this down bring it back up and finally this is the part right here this is blue so I'm gonna move it to blue move this down bring that back up so in the scenario that you have a white piece on the bottom this is what you do so since there's on this line right here I'm gonna move it to the line that doesn't have a piece I'm gonna bring it up until the, those two white pieces are there and the white pieces on the bottom and I'm gonna turn the bottom 
down there so it's out of the way and you turn it back up. Then it's on the bottom and you could turn it back up like that. So congratulations if you have it looking like this, you have just completed the white side or the white layer. So now we're going to do the second layer. So this is has the easiest algorithms in it. So what you're going to want to do is look at these pieces right here, all of these. So we don't want to have a piece with the, any yellow in it. So if it's yellow, it doesn't work for this moment. So right here, I'm going to start with this piece. This is green and orange. So since that's green and orange, I know it has to go here because this is green and that's orange. If it can't go here because then that make it red. Green and orange here and that's the red side so I know it has to go to the left. So when the piece is going to the left you need to follow this algorithm. So you bring the bottom like this, bring the top down, bring the bottom back, top back up, you turn the cube around, you put this to the side, bring this down, you put the bottom back and you bring it back up. And now I had the piece that was right here, right here, so that's the green and orange piece. So now we have the blue and orange piece, so that goes to the right, so I'm going to turn the bottom to the left, this down, back, down, there, back up, flip the cube, to the bottom, left side down, the bottom to the left again, and turn it back up. And now I have the orange piece there as well blue and orange piece there so this is the red and blue piece so I know it goes there so I do the same algorithm that I just did and there are the red and orange red and blue pieces right there finally we have the red and yellow green piece so we do the same exact algorithm and we have got the second layer undone I mean finished next we have the last layer or the third layer which is by far the hardest of them all so first you need to create the white cross so the algorithm for this is to turn this that way so turn this that way turn the top up like that turn this up turn that back up turn that down and turn this back and you should have created the white cross. If you haven't, just keep repeating that algorithm. Next, we want to make sure these pieces line up. So as you can see, green, orange, blue, so that doesn't line up. So you're going to want to find two that line up, that are next to each other. So in this one, we have no none that line up next to each other, so we just do it on any random side. This algorithm, you do the right side, that twice, that down, up, back up and do that and now you could turn it try to match it up and there's nothing matching you do the same algorithm but if there is right here we have the red blue and the red so there's two next to each other we turn it so those are facing the back and we do the algorithm Now see if it matches, and if it doesn't, do it again. And keep doing it until you get a match. So as you can see now, all the pieces match at the top. So that is that algorithm. So after you have all the matching, you have to do the next algorithm to find a pair. So this algorithm is you need to bring this, the top, that way. Bring right, top back that way. Left, top that way. Down, and the top that way. And bring that down. Then you move it to the matching side and you have no matching pair so you repeat the algorithm until it works so here we have a matching pair 
So you see this two and two right here. So once you have made a matching pair, you hold it where the right side, um, where the on the right side there's the matching pair, and you proceed to do this algorithm. So it is the right side that way, upside that way. Bring that side up. Bring that side to the left. Bring the other side up. That side to the left. That side down. That side down. And that side down. And do it again if no, no results happen. So. So you should end up with something like this. Or two corners. And this will be yellow. So make sure these. For this to. For you to proceed to the final algorithm. Al algorithm you have to make sure these are these have to be orientated and they're in the right position to be orientated so this is the this is where the orange and blue should be and that's the orange and blue and yellow piece so that's correct and this is where the blue and red and yellow and that's the blue red and yellow so that's correct so this is the longest algorithm to do but this is by far the easiest so don't be scared so for the final algorithm you need to do this down that to the side, that back up, that to the side. Keep doing it. Until you get a white line, I mean a yellow line. Then you bring that up and make sure to turn that back that way. Then you turn the cube all the way until you get to that piece and do the same algorithm. And now you are in this position, which is your solve position. And happily with joy, turn it to its solve state. There you go. That is the full tutorial, how to solve a Rubik's Cube by TechX. So once you have solved it, you could do some cool finger tricks like this. And resolve it. So which is pretty cool. And you could, that's the beginner way, but you could do far more advanced ways. So I hope you enjoyed. I explained it without any like U prime, L prime, because that I find is the easiest way to, to learn it. And if you're wondering my cube, this is the Chihi Thunderclap. And then I got my other cube right here from Defantix. So this one's the Chihi Thunderclap. It's a great cube, it's like 10 bucks. You can find it on Amazon, it's really popular. So anyways, thanks for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications. And that was my full tutorial on how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So anyways, I'm TechX, and see you in the next video. Peace.